We are walking up to the field, our practice field, for the first practice 2017 season. The grind is officially starting and it's perfect football weather. Last year we were intense, but this year is a whole new another level. We just took five ladders, climbed up top, and that's where we're at right now. Still going. Let's go! We go every time! For us to, to get where we need to be, we have to put in a lot of work, a lot of extra effort, no slacking off, paying attention 24-7. Okay, now if you don't take it seriously, then you don't take it seriously. I take it very seriously. We take it very seriously. Okay, this is, this is something we love to do. Now we want to know, do you love football? Do you love to be here? Like we love to be here. Alright, and we're going to find out. We have games coming up. Alright, let's get a break. Come on. Right. The only way we win is as a team. We don't have any individuals on this team. Alright? We, we gotta stay together. That's the only way we compete. You guys got that, fellas? Let's, no, go. No, no. Let's go. Together on three. One, two, three. Together! together. Stop saying next season and start saying this season. For the Hilltop Lancers and head coach Andrew Westling, this season brings more optimism and expectation than ever before in school history. Yeah, I say that we're it's going to be a different this year because like I feel like a lot of schools on the west side of the 805 don't get that much recognition as they should, and especially us because we're a little bit better than the team. So I, I would definitely say yeah. I mean, we got a special group of guys this year, and I mean, Coach Westling is doing great with us. So I think we'll do good. The goal for any season is to win CIF, but we're just trying to we're just trying to get Hilltop as a respected school in South Bay because everyone talks about schools east of the 805, just East Lake, Olympia, and Otay, all the nice schools. This is we're a blue collar school. I mean, we don't even have a field yet. They're, they're starting to build it right now, but we're just trying to get some respect for the South Bay. Hilltop is not a traditional football powerhouse, rather a school and a program entering a new era, Good. one with high expectations for success. Second year head coach Andrew Wessling is a man who will lead the Lancers into this new era. So I got this job because of Kevin Pike, our receivers coach. Kevin and I played together at Southwestern in 2007. We coached together at Chula Vista when I was there in 2014. And then Kevin's one of my good friends. Uh, he said, hey, Coach Roloff is taking a job at UCLA. Uh, there's going to be an opening. We've got some really good talent here. I think you should apply. And you know, I had been away from coaching for a year, realized how much I loved it and how much I missed it, and was eager to have an opportunity to coach in this district again, knowing all the things that come with it and thinking that I can do a much better job for the team. After growing seven and five in his first season with the Lancers, Wesling has his sights set on taking the team to new heights. After a long off season, day one of camp brings tangible energy and excitement. Yeah, I definitely think the vibe's a little bit different. I don't want to say cocky, but I want to say confident. Like, because we've been, us seniors, we've been playing together since freshman. And our freshman year, we went 9-1. and one. So we definitely think we have the talent. We've all been playing for a while. And this is like our first year playing football. So we think that we actually have a chance to do something this year. And this camp is reflecting it with all the work we put in. Um, I feel like it just comes up from our hearts and like just believing us in each other and motivating each other. That's all where it comes from. It's something new. I can feel it in the air, you know. That's why the, the clouds are clouds are over here because, you know, the past is sad because it's going to be a new day. But they're happy at the same time because we're about to bring the South Bay back out here. You're out, Josh. Good. Good. Oh, Hit the go. 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 Work on two, work on two, one, two, three. Work! Day two of camp still means no full contact, but team prep is moving at game speed right out of the gate. You got this, Pond. Go. 
For most of these kids, this camp has a different vibe than one they've ever been a part of before. After an offseason that felt like an eternity, the Lancers are a team steeped in confidence and physicality that almost seems foreign to the South Bay school. We didn't really lift last year. Honestly, we came in one of the weakest teams. And we still we still won, what, six games? And made the playoffs. So to me, them coming in a lot stronger is going to make a big difference. So I just can't wait for August 18th. Me being alumni here, we haven't seen that too many times that we've gone to other schools and our kids are bigger than them. So it's definitely a plus side seeing our guys bigger than them. And, we're curious to see what we can do this year on the front line. Yeah, it's way different because last year, like, we started off really late. And this year, we started off one week after we lost playoff. So, like, it feels a lot better. He really helps us out a lot and makes us be what we're supposed to be and uh, kind of mentors us to be as good as we can be. And he kind of just really helps out this program a lot. And I think he's probably the best thing that's happened to this program in a long time. Leaving the field after day two, there is a sense that the best is still to come. That tomorrow when the team goes full contact, then football will really begin. All right, hey, good day, two, good day two, good day two. Let's go, dominate on three. One, two, three. Dominate. Go get some, jog, jog, jog.